Hey everyone, I am Taylor Fernandez. I'm a teacher and a coach. I've taught physical education and um, this past year I taught seventh grade social studies at Washington Wilkes Middle School. Yes, I was a tiger by day, but a red devil by night because I still lived here. Um, so for my opening scripture, I'm going to read James 1, 2 through 4. And it says, Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds. For you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. So today, I'm going to be speaking to high school seniors, college seniors, underclassmen, both in high school and college, and to those parents who are not okay. Um, so go ahead and tag any seniors, um, underclassmen, parents that you think might need to hear this, um, because this has been laid on my heart. So nearly 8 million student athletes play sports at the high school level, and 480,000 play at the college level. Not to mention the many students that participate in clubs like musical theater, tech, technology, FFA, to name a few. A number of those who are seniors. Who knew that that would be your last game, your last practice, last rehearsal, last time in a high school classroom? And then there are those seniors who just like going to school to see their friends and their favorite teachers. Seniors, you were blindsided, point blank blindsided by this pandemic. One minute you're getting ready for school, and the next you're being told that it's postponed, and now, or yesterday, you're told it's canceled for the rest of the year. One of my seniors who's on my soccer team sent a message in our group chat, and it said, quote, we won't get a courting ceremony, a senior banquet, a senior night, a graduation, a prom, and we won't get to walk the stage and show everyone that we're graduating like I am so mad and every single one of you should be. I get it. You worked so hard to prepare for this monumental moment in your life, and it hurts, and it's okay to hurt. Whenever I'm going through something, I write it down. I make sure I'm very thorough with my feelings. I write down whatever comes to mind, and then what I do is I ball it up, and I get rid of it, burn it, throw it in the lake. We have a lot of that around here. Do whatever you have to do to get rid of what's going through, whatever you're going through. It's the same method as handing over what you're going through to God. And I don't know about you, but there's nothing in the world, there's nothing in the world more than the best feeling in the world is giving what you're going through to Jesus and it's being lifted off of your shoulder and you're able to walk forward with your shoulders back and your head held high. After you release that anger, hurt, and pain, you're able to make way for tomorrow and things become a little easier day by day. College-bound seniors, get online and pick out some dorm decorations. Ask for your mom's help. Start Googling about things you want to major in. Look at housing opportunities. Look up your professors because you're going to want to do that, I promise. You'll want to. Uh, keep training for your sport that you signed a scholarship for, and just to get excited for college. Work-based seniors. These are for the seniors who aren't going to college. You're entering a field that has grown tremendously, and the job possibilities are endless. Ask some adults what they know about such field. Research what you're doing. Figure out how far up you want to go in that chain of command and shoot for the stars. College seniors. Whether this was your last degree or not, most of you were planning on walking the stage one more time. Some of you still haven't cleaned out your dorm or apartment. You're all getting to an age where you're on the way to fully developing as an adult, and the realization of that is quickly sinking in. Some of you may already have bills to pay, and that's stressful. But you also have something to look forward to. You're about to enter a wild adventure of adulthood, and I'm still smack dab in the middle of it at the age of 26. Since I graduated college, I've struggled. But the one thing is guiding me through all of my hard times is just giving it to God and allowing him to work his magic. I can honestly say, college seniors, you think you know where you'll be in a couple years? And God's up there going, ha, watch this. 
I never would have thought I would have coached volleyball. I never would have thought I would teach in Washington Wilkes. And I never would have thought I would teach social studies after I had already fully committed to PE. But I have been blessed through those many curveballs, and I have had the most amazing students and players, and you will too, if you trust. Romans 8.28 says, And we all know that all things work together for the good to those who are called according to His purpose. And that's what you have to look forward to. But, 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 what are you going to do the rest of April? May through the summer. I'm redirecting this question to all students, middle school and up. So my seventh graders, you need to listen up. I remember being a preteen, teenager, wanting my own life. And I didn't think to give my family the time of day because I was too busy. That was the teenager in me. But what can you do during this free time is be there for your parents or guardian. This could be the time you help them with siblings. Go outside and jump on the trampoline. Go throw the football. Play with your sister's hair. Do your mom's makeup for fun. Play a prank on dad. Put down the Xbox controller and help your siblings with their schoolwork. Help cook dinner with the family. And here's a biggie right here. Give your loved ones a call and tell them you love them. Call that uncle that taught you how to fish. Call your nanny and tell her you love her. I challenge everybody watching this right now to pull out your phone and physically call someone and say, I just want to say I love you and I'm here for you. Take this salty free time and create it into something beautiful. And if you take the challenge to do something similar to what I just mentioned, I promise you'll look back and see your senior year in this quarantine time as quality time with your family. And a couple months from now, life will start to become somewhat normal again. Some of you will begin gathering things for a dorm, and others will start working. And hopefully you can look back and smile at the memory, memories you made. That's called a silver lining. Now to my underclassmen, specifically underclassmen athletes. I bet you my paycheck that every senior right now could agree with the statement I'm about to give you, underclassmen. Play every game as if it's your last, because you never know when it will be your last. And to broaden that out a little bit, out of the athletic part of it, live every day as if it's your last, because you never know when it will be your last. The book of Proverbs says, do not boast about tomorrow, for you do not know what a day may bring. Because we sure didn't know about this Rona person coming in. Seniors and underclassmen, make it a thing to tell yourself this on a daily basis. You're not promised tomorrow. You aren't promised the pandemic won't happen. And you're not promised to play the game you love tomorrow. Now, to my parents and guardians of seniors. You ready? You did good. Hold your head up high. You hurt for your baby. I can't say I get it because I don't get it. I'm not a parent. But I have coached and I have taught teenagers, and I have seen you. When nobody else did, I saw you. I saw you fret over those uniforms. I've seen you pass out snacks. I've heard you worry about grades. And I've seen you make sure everybody's bags were packed the night before. I see you in the stands, and I see you cheering where, whether it's a win or a loss. And I've seen you be proud. And for those things and many, many, many more, you did good. And you want to know why? Because even if your senior didn't tell you, they saw you too, even when you didn't know it. So now your senior that your heart is breaking for is going to take away what they learned from you. And that is how to pay attention to detail, how to give to others, how to be responsible, and how to support those that they love. This may be a loss for our seniors, but they will be okay because you did good. Lastly, to my seniors, underclassmen, and parents, this is going to be part of your story one day. Right now it hurts, but one day you'll be able to embrace it, share it, and be proud to, to have gotten through it. And before I let you go, I'm going to pray real quick for us. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for speaking through me today. Please, please lift up all the seniors, students, and parents, Lord. Please be with the teachers and coaches as we much rather be at school with our kids. And please remain to be with all the healthcare professionals and the essential business workers. In your name I pray, amen.